Hey, Living Word, welcome to the midweek check in. I am here with Roosevelt Rumble. Hey. Thanks for being here. It's good to be here. Awesome. We are working our way through the book of Judges. We are almost through the entire book of Judges. Aren't you glad about that? Uh, yes, moving along. Yeah, you know, a lot, a, lot of re- a lot of reading, a lot of reading. <laughs> it is a lot of reading, and I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I find it hard. I have to really make myself get it done, and sometimes I feel behind, and I got to, like, catch up, and then I just listen to it. Anyway, if that's you, it's okay, right? I think sometimes when they call it the Old Testament, that's what they mean. It's it's old. No. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. so honest. It is so honest. However, this book is... Full of action and disgusting stuff. And also, we really wanted to talk about this one guy this week that shows up, uh, uh, Samson. You, are you talking about the weird, the guy that thinks he's uh, strong? He thinks he's strong. I mean, you know, Mighty yeah. Samson. Yeah, yeah. Totally. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because of his hair. Well, yeah, that, that's kind of like it, you know, but I think that he found out that, you know, hey, it doesn't really make you strong when you tell somebody what to do to make you weak. That's so true. That's so true. I know, and we were talking about how, like, gosh, if God can use this guy, woo, I mean, this guy, he was really intentional. Our God was really intentional with this guy's life. Not only um, did he did God say over and over in this uh, section of the book of Judges that mm-hmm. he blessed Samson, he actually also, like, made sure Samson became a person, right? Like Samson's mom was barren, couldn't have kiddos. Um, and God was like, no, no, you will. And you will have this boy. Right. And they had very, he had very specific instructions on how to raise this kiddo Mm -hmm. and who he was going to be. Um, and that was really fascinating to me. So we were talking about how like, gosh, if God can use somebody like Samson, who in the end, he wasn't that smart guys. I mean, right. Well, you know, I looked at the whole thing when I think about how God used, uh, Jonah and Jonah was kind of disobedient. He had to deal with him and but then if God can use a donkey, I guess he can use Samson hey, too, you know? <laughs> yeah, man. Point. I mean, you that's just, you know, they both, well, I won't use that word on television, but anyway, <laughs> <laughs> but Samson was kind of like that. But uh, uh, I think that one of the things that you're discovering this whole thing that God has a plan, no matter what the person is yeah. or who the person is yeah. or what the direction is. They may want to do their own thing. They may want to go their own way, but God has a plan. And yeah. that's what he looked at Samson, yeah. even though he was not my characteristic uh, type of guy that I would look at to look up to, sure. but, uh, yeah. yeah, and it was kind of self-centered, uh, big, you know, yeah. thought was, he was really all trying to prove himself over and over and over again. And end up getting fooled because he tried to prove himself. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, and the way he was fooled, I can't even believe it. Like, I'm just thinking like, this is the story. I don't know. I was also reflecting on how I learned that as the story as a kiddo, mm-hmm. like when, in Sunday school. And I was like, I don't remember any of this. <laughs> Right? What about getting his it hair? Was not the story. The, all we heard was the hair thing. Like, right? He had yeah. hair, and it made him strong. And then he right. got his hair cut, and then he wasn't strong anymore. But really, that's all we heard about it. But he was totally duped by this woman, and she made it obvious she was trying to dupe him by like asking saying, him over yes, and over yes. and over and again. And then the Philistines are coming. The Philistines are coming. <laughs> yeah. And then, like two times in a row, he totally fought them off. And then the third time, when she said, "You won't tell me the truth. Why won't you tell me the truth about what makes you weak?" And he's like, "Okay, I'll tell you." Why did he do that? I guess the story is love is love is blind. And he thought he was in love, and he thought he was a. I, I think if we use the word today, uh, oh, excuse me, Samson uh, was a player, and then he got played. <laughs> yeah, totally, totally. Yeah, love is blind, and then Samson really was blind after that. Mm-hmm. The punishment was he got his eyes gouged out. Ugh. Yeah, that's the theme pretty much of the Book of Judges. But the bottom line for today is God can use anyone. And that means that if you feel like God cannot use you, no matter where you are, no matter what you've done, God can use you. If he's using a guy like Samson, who made a whole bunch of mistakes and who was really gullible and he was working really hard to prove himself, like he can use you. God can use you. He can use me. I think of so many things that I've done in my life that have been just not great. And yet God still uses me every single day. I totally agree with you that, Shannon. It's that that we have to realize that uh, there's nothing in our life that's so terrible that God can't turn around. There's no, We are not so bad yeah. because God created us and he made everything good. So the good in us, God will, it will prevail. And God will use that. So you never allow yourself to be taken back because you made a mistake or you feel like you're going the wrong way. Just begin to trust God and let him, if you was designed by God and you feel like you're going the wrong way, let God redesign you and he'll rebuild you, redeem you, and let you go the direction that he wants you to go. And that's what I see in this. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's right. All right, you guys. Well, that's it for us today. Make sure that if you have any questions, you email them to me at shannon at livingwordoakharbor.com. Or if God is moving in a powerful way in your life, we want to hear about that too. So go ahead and email me that as well. And don't forget to keep on reading. reading. You can do it. Keep reading. Keep yeah, reading. Keep reading. It's All right, good you guys. work. Yes. See ya.